What's up guys, it's your boy, back at you with another video, you get me? And for those of you who aren't aware what this is, this is basically man's escape plan via eBay, reselling all this stuff in the background, you get me? Uh, and basically I have a plan to list a certain amount for a year and hopefully by the end of that year I'm financially free. If not, plan failed. <laughs> but basically guys, I'm tuning in. Um, if you ain't seen the previous ep episodes, go check that. Basically, today is Monday. And the last time I posted was on, um, I don't know, it was like Friday or Saturday or something. So I'm basically trying to post every other day. Um, I was meant to post actually yesterday, but I've held off till today just so I can show you guys what I've sold. Um, but before I show you actually what I've sold, I'm going to show you some of the things which I picked up today. Because today is actually a good day and there's some, there's some cool stuff which I got. There's this one item which I've been selling a lot of recently. Um, I'm guessing in my local thrift stores, basically they've been getting some donations off a certain company and I'm excited to show you guys these shoes which I've been picking up. Um, and hopefully I don't create any unnecessary competition out there. Hopefully not because no one watches the videos anyway, but basically that's what we're gonna do. So first of all, before getting into what I sold, and it has been a good weekend actually, I'm actually gonna add up the numbers too and show you guys how much I actually made this weekend, which I haven't done before, I don't think. So that it could be like a cool weekend video, you get me? But anyway, let's get right to it. I'll show you what I've bought um, today. Cause I'm trying to source every day. For those of you unaware, I'm actually, my goal is 10 listings a day for the whole month. Um, Cause last month I was listing eight listings a day. And I, and I did that fine. Now I'm doing 10 listings a day. I feel like I'm struggling a little bit. I'm struggling to keep up with the listings. I'm struggling to afford the sourcing. I'm at my threshold right now. I can't grow any higher than I'm at for a minute. Because this is, I feel like 10 listings a day is my nemesis. And I'm just trying to learn to do that. And if I can spend this whole month. And I've missed a couple of days. I missed a couple of days as in like I've li only listed 7. And a couple of days. So basically like. Two of the days this month I've missed my goal, so I know I'm going to struggle, but struggle is good. Anyway guys, let me just get right to it and I'll show you, well I've got like a healthy ass death pile now over here in my bedroom. So basically this side of the room guys, this whole, everything here is a death pile, give or take like the table here and shit. <laughs> so basically all this is my death pile, I've got a ton of trainers, some swaggery as well, you know. Um, and basically, yeah, so let me show you what I've got anyway, I'll turn the camera on. This is my death pile, a bunch of trainers here which I've got a list. Um, some cool ass jackets which I got from the boot sale, but basically, this is today's stuff, these couple bags here. So, I got a couple pairs of trousers which isn't what I wanted to show you. Well, there is one thing actually. Um, these are all like new, more brand type things. This one jacket I wanted to show you guys. Because I'm unsure what it is because they've cut the label out of it. But it's a denim jacket. And basically, Miami Dolphins. And I thought it was sick. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. Anyone know what team this is? If it is a team? Hockey, basketball, I don't know. So I'm just hoping. I paid 450 for that. I'm hoping I can do something with it. So basically, that is a couple of clothes I got. But basically, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Now, it's this company, Peloton. Now, in my thrift stores, they've been getting a bunch of these shoes in. They're just basically, they're basic, let me get one out. They're just cycling shoes. Yeah, so they're just like this. They're all just pretty much the same design, slightly different box, so I'm guessing slightly different models. Anyway, I got three of these a few weeks ago. Now there's eight here. I've got one left here with the initial three which I bought and they're sold, they're sold, well the other two sold and I'm left with one. I sold one for 65, I sold the other for 45 or 50, but I paid 10 for them and also I paid 10 for all these. So th I got eight pairs for like 80 quid here, I actually got another pair another day, sorry, so because they just keep, basically my thrift stores, they're not putting all the stock out so they're keeping some behind. Now, the initial thrift store said to me, come back another day, they'll get the manager and they'll pull them out. But I went to a different area, same shop, Salvation Army, different area. And they ha I shouldn't have told you the shop name, you know, because someone's going to go out there and steal my stock. But anyway, they've got loads of them, they must be have a contract or something with Peloton and be getting bare Peloton stuff. So anyway, I paid £10 each for these. Now, they're doing me nice, because look at the price they've actually got them in the shop. 
25. Well, they actually had them in there for 15, but I guess they thought they were going to try their luck with 25. But, I mean, even if I paid 15 for them, I'd still be making money. So I'm hoping anyway to, for all of these, they're all different sizes and that. I just said to the woman, give me the bigger sizes. And I'll come back in a few days once I've made some money off them and get some more in it. So basically, they're all the same. But, yeah. So that I'm hoping for a minimum of 45 and hopefully for the bigger sizes pushing 70 and there's eight i've got nine of them now including that one so 90 pounds to frignos it's going to be a big flip on them and i'm really excited to get them listed i'm not going to hesitate on these because last time i listed them within three or four days they'd gone so yeah i just wanted to show you guys that because if you guys are unaware, Peloton shoes do well if you can get them at the right price. And I'm guessing the thrift stores aren't pricing them too high because it's Peloton. What is Peloton? It's a bike. It's an exercise bike. They probably just think there's some trash. But they're actually a good brand. Um, I guess this shoe goes with the bikes that they sell. So I'm guessing the bike owners need these shoes. Or at least just want to just have matching shoes to the bike in it. So they're really good and they're doing well for me at the minute. Also, guys, there's a couple of cool things here. These red shoes are pretty swag. I don't know how much I'll get for them. <coughs> now, it says I paid 10 for them, but I actually paid 5. I got a really good deal in this charity shop, so I don't know how much I'll get for these, but these are swag. I was going to keep them for myself because they're my size, size 10. Um, but I find it really hard to like take anything for myself, to be honest. At the minute, I'm wearing my work boots. Hit me. I'll just be rocking these as trainers and I had I did ha have a pair of um, let me turn the camera around real quick now I did have like a pair of Converse which I kept for myself but like I wore them like two three times and there's something about new shoes which I don't I don't like new shoes they're too stiff I'd much rather buy a used pair of shoes that's broken in in good condition obviously but like not too fresh I don't like fresh shoes they hurt my feet and like I feel like an idiot you know when you see someone walking down the street looking hella fresh that's embarrassing to me now when we're getting older, you know. I don't want to look too fresh. I just want to look normal. You know what I mean? I don't want people, like, double glancing at my shoes and the fact that I can't walk properly and I'm, like, I'm walking like a penguin because you don't want to crease your new shoes. I hate that. But anyway, I'm just going to quickly... Now, guys, we're going to move on and I'm just going to show you what I've sold this weekend. So, from, like, Friday evening... Yeah, Friday evening. I don't know what the cut-off point is. At one point, I thought eBay's cut-off point for next day, for the same day delivery, was, like, 5 p.m. But it's not because I've been getting orders at like 1, 2 p.m. And then like it's saying to ship them out the next day. So I don't know when their cut off is. Maybe it's midday or something. So basically this is like Friday evening's orders through till Monday morning. This morning. Um, which it is now. So basically I will start picking. Um, yeah, I need my partner's phone because my computer's dead. Chloe, you got your phone? Okay guys, I've had a look at my account. I've basically got nine orders going out from... Friday evening which is a step up for me and this is just off my clothing account not including my hard goods so we'll start off I had one item cancelled as well actually which was a bummer because there was a, a swag item now the first item I sold is a pair of shoes now this is a cool brand because I have other people to thank for finding and knowing about this brand other people as in other resellers online daily refinement tech and sports all those u.s breaders have brought me on to some brands which i just never even knew existed first of all and the first thing that sold is these shoes guys morel um vibram vibram now they're basically like a walking trainer sandal it's like a yeah it's weird i don't know how to describe these but just um look at the price comps and they do good anyway i got for them i got Thirty-seven ninety-nine plus four ninety-seven shipping, so thirty-eight plus a bluey. That's like forty-three quid for these old man sandals, fam. They're not even like the. Well, they're decent quality, but they're just if you get some Asda ones, they're probably similar. Get me so Asda quality old man sandals, forty plus quid. So that was a good sale. Um, Morel Vibram, Morel, let me show you what they look like inside just in case you guys want to pick these up one day no sorry they're not even morel the main door mendel mendel morel does well as well guys morel's similar to this but these are main door v 
Vibram. So look out for Morel as well, but these are main door. Um, so yeah, they went. Okay, next item, guys, is some Calvin Klein boxer shorts. Now, I've got a bunch of these. They're like vintage, you know, boxer shorts, like the short, that, not the tight ass spandex boxes, just the ones that look like shorts in it. Now, I sold, I got a bunch of these. I got like five, six, seven for two pounds each and brand new sealed. I'm just looking which one this is because I've got lots of colours. Say hello. 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 Get out of my room. <laughs> so basically they're over here guys, bear with me. I've got like a, uh, this blue box down here full of things. So I'll just pause the video and I'll get it. Um, okay guys, I've got them. There they is basically. Like, um, yeah. There's just a box of short in it. I've sold three of them actually. Um, I don't know if the guy's paid because I sold them to someone else and then I sold two more. Yeah, he's not paid yet. So I've sold two more of them, but yeah, not paid for. Next thing, guys, is a madness actually. Um, they're basically trousers. Where are they? A1.3. So in one of these boxes, this area here is getting bigger now, guys. I'm basically trying to to get rid of this rail because it's unnecessary basically everything on this rail once it's sold everything's going to be in boxes i'm still going to have rails but it's just going to be for new stuff that i don't want to fold up and ruin so like or just use stuff that i don't want to fold up and ruin so i've got like this sheep skin or something jacket them type of things i don't want to fold and ruin in the box so that's that's the stuff that's going to stay on the rail but i forgot what box this item was in now a 1.3 so A1.3, one of these down, this one here. So I'll just pause the video. This one's hiding behind the boxes, demanding noodles. But basically, I hurt my thumb as well, guys. Slam my, well, I hurt my nail on the compost bin in the garden. I'll just leave it at that, you get me? I basically sold these, all these trousers. Now, ugh, let me turn the camera on again. So yeah, we sold these Orvis trousers. I got these for two pounds actually. Um, basically, I got them from a local place. Everything's two pounds. Now you, it's not every day you're gonna find Orvis new on the two pound rail, but I have found a lot of Orvis for cheap. <laughs> but I feel like I don't know what what this might be a US brand because I ain't heard of it in England. But I feel like the charity shops are wising up to that brand because I see a lot of Orvis price high. But you search enough and it will slip through because what is all this i don't know but it sells all this does really well anyway i got for those just let me check because this phone keeps locking on man so we got 31.99 plus 3.97 shipping for them it only actually cost me two pound 35 to ship most items so when i charge 3.97 the rest is just an eats on top of it so that's that now the next thing guys there's a pair of chinos again in a 1.1. These are cool because these was basically like a a test brand. So I've, I've sold this brand in the past and I thought basically the only way to know if a brand really sells is to risk your money once or twice and price it at the low end of the market and just see what happens. Um, and that's what I did with these. I had two pairs of them that both sold. It's not the greatest brand and they're both actually used, but some of these not so great brands still sell and if you can figure out what the the bottom of the market is and how how much you can get them for and i can get them for a pound two pound and the bottom of the market for this item is what i sold it at and i've sold it at 11.39 plus 3.35 shipping so say 11.50 plus 3.50 that's 12 that's like 15 quid for this item yeah but anyway we're in a 1.1 which is down here Oh god damn it! It's <laughs> got my foot stuck in here. <laughs> so basically, guys, it's these, and they're just a green pair of chinos. It's this company called James Pringle. Um, now those of you from this country will know. If you're a thrifter, you would have seen this. I'll try to show you the badge. James Pringle, like that. Everyone knows. Well, every thrifter has come across James Pringle. It's not really worth much. So it's worth 15 pounds that's the low end of the market for these chinos and it's not nothing great now okay so the reason guys i'm showing you like 
this specifically is because this is an item that you could call like a bread and butter thing. Yeah, it's not a high margin seller, but they sell often and the, uh, the supply is good for me. And I can pick them up cheap and it's good to have some of those brands on like your rotation where you can just get them for pennies. No one's overpricing them and you know you can sell them. That's one of them no matter wherever I go, James Pringle Chinos. It's going to be on the pound rail or the two pound rail or it's going to be cheap, isn't it? So that's why I'm making a thing of those because those brands are important to what we do. You get me? You need those brands. So the next thing I sold, guys, so that's four items so far. Now there might only be seven going out because I sold two more of those, two more of those Calvin Klein's, but they've not been paid for, so obviously I can't count them. Now the next thing is a, a, a Ralph Lauren shirt, actually. It's in A2.2. Now, let me find it, A2.2. I'm just gonna put these boxes back up. Okay, so the reason, guys, I'm showing you like this specifically is because this is an item that you could call like a bread and butter thing. Yeah, it's not a high margin seller, but they sell often and the, uh, the supply is good for me. And I can pick them up cheap and it's good to have some of those brands on like your rotation where you can just get them for pennies. No one's overpricing them and you know you can sell them. That's one of them no matter wherever I go, James Pringle Chinos. It's going to be on the pound rail or the two pound rail or it's going to be cheap, isn't it? So. That's why I'm making a thing of those because those brands are important to what we do, you get me? You need those brands. So the next thing I sold guys, so that's four items so far. Now there might only be seven going out because I sold two more of those, two more of those Calvin Klein's but they've not been paid for so obviously I can't count them. Now the next thing is a, a, a Ralph Lauren shirt actually, it's in A2.2. No, let me find it, A2.2. I'm just gonna put these boxes back up. Basically, it is this here. Now, this box packs so tight, one sec. Okay guys, so it's just this. It's like a, um, a slim fit polo by Ralph Lauren shirt, basically slim fit too, you can get me. So, yeah, that's that. It's not special to be honest, it's nice. Can't remember how much I paid for it. Let me check how much I paid for it. Okay. Should have it on the team. So, oh, fuck off, man. So basically, I paid two pounds for that. So that would have been from that two pound shop, guys. See there in the custom SKU label, I put where it is, and I also have started putting how much I paid. So when it comes to doing these videos, then I know. Next thing I sold, guys, um, it's funny because I swear the last time I did one of these videos, I had a scenario like this, and this keeps happening, which makes me believe like good luck juju must be real in it long story short i had a job interview like a week ago and i wore these jeans to the job interview and they've sold and i don't really wear sh stuff often but whenever i do wear it it seems to sell so we'll go get them now they're basically in man's bedroom near me so i'll go get these trousers at me so they're hanging here on my hanging rail and we'll go back down and I'll show you. I'll show them you. So these are basically Hugo Boss slim fit jeans. Let me prop the phone up. So they're just, uh, they've been washed. I have got to iron them before I send them out. If they even need ironing. They might need ironing. Now Hugo Boss does really well. I've said this. I actually picked these up in a video and I probably did a video when I picked them up. I feel like I'm getting deja vu that I've already spoke about these. Now, don't be afraid, guys, to pay up a little bit for Hugo Boss. Now, these aren't in the best condition. The most important thing is this badge is in good condition and there's no holes on the denim or anything. But they do real fucking well, man. You can pay, you can pay up to a tenner for a Hugo Boss. I wouldn't suggest it. But if they're a good pair, real good condition, you can pay up to a tenner. And still come out on top with these Hugo. So let's see exactly how much I got for these. But I believe it was, I believe it was over thirty. So it's one of them. Like if you guys want to make over thirty quid, then get Hugo Boss. I sold them for twenty nine ninety nine plus two ninety seven shipping. So that's like pretty much thirty three quid, isn't it? 
for a pair of used skinny jeans. <laughs> so that was a finesse. Now, the next thing I saw, guys, is pretty swag, actually. Now, do I have to, I was going to say, I can't be asked digging in any more boxes. This one's on the rail. Now, it's rail 1B. Now, I'm going to move some of this. This is a pretty cool shirt, actually, guys. This is brand new. Um, it's a Dickies shirt, brand new. Like this Beetlejuice type of style. So that will sell. But anyway, this item, God damn it, it's like underneath here. It was, um, I sold, uh, fuck me, everything's packed so tight in this room. Okay, so we got it out. It's basically this, it's a true religion polo shirt, brand new. This was in the TK Maxx era of man's reselling career, which lasted about a month because it was just too damn expensive and myself, we went right down. Selling new stuff just sells faster than new stuff. It's just It just does. Don't ask why or how or, you know what I mean? It just does. So this is a brand new true religion thing. This sold. I got this real freaking cheap, you know. Like TK Maxx had, um, I don't know, I guess January sales. They, apparently they do it twice a year. And the prices just go nuts, fam. I was literally picking like Ralph Lauren up for like, like less than a bluey. Fuck me, it was crazy, crazy. I was getting stuff for seventy p, like stuff, like real stuff that man can sell for seventy p. I'm getting hats and that for seventy p. Crazy. Check out that twice a year sale at TK Maxx for those of you who are unaware. The next thing I sold, guys, was a pair of Wrangler jeans. Now. Yeah, a pair of Wrangler jeans. Just let me make sure because I've got two pairs in the same box. Double A one, which is bottom left corner down here for crying out loud. <laughs> so yeah, let me. I'll prop you up so you can get some actual footage. You better be in this box for these Wrangler jeans. I just sold them and I'm looking in the box and I can't see them off that. Okay, I think this is them. Dash these boxes back up top. God darn it. Right, now I think this is them. I did sell two pairs. Well, I have got two pairs pretty much exactly the same. Now this phone is really slowing things down. I'm going to have to go into settings and turn this lock screen thing off. Okay, I'm just making sure they're the right Wranglers. But anyway, there's a pair of black Wranglers like this. Now the reason I'm confused is because I thought... I actually... I bought a pair of these yesterday and listed a pair of these yesterday. And I thought these were the ones that I've sold. But I think it's the ones that I already had in my store which I've sold. So... I'm just going to check the badge, see these ain't them, this is a different badge, yeah, I did sell a pair of black Wranglers jeans like this guys, but this isn't the one, so <laughs> I found them, they were, I, I've listed them down here, but they're not down there at all, now this keeps happening to man, it's getting a problem because I've actually got a lot of stuff now, just one minute, I'm just going to turn my son's little phone down. Chance, can I turn this down a little bit so Daddy can hear what I'm doing? Oh, did I not even stop recording then? I'm still recording. Oh, fuck. Okay, so anyway, guys, it was these ones, so you can see pretty much the same. They're both durable quality. This one's a slightly different badge. Might even be the same size, so you have to be careful sometimes. Now, this is my fault of why I had them listed down there and there was in there. I do not know. This has been happening a lot recently. Now, um, the only thing I can think is it's me rushing my listings and putting in the wrong inventory number because I take a picture of the box afterwards. But sometimes I don't list in order of the pictures. I'm guessing I'm messing up the order of the picture of the box. Or I'm forgetting to delete some pictures of the box. And then it's, I'm just messing things up. That's all I can think of, really. So I just need to... In fact, these are from the bottom box, so I need to put these back down there. Okay guys, so we sorted that problem out, sorted those boxes out, got my Wranglers out down here. Now this is the last item on my clothing store which is sold. Um, now these sold 
first thing this morning, so still would that count as a weekend sale? I don't know. We'll count it as a weekend sale because it's only one sale and it makes me look better. <laughs> now basically these are a pair, they're on the floor somewhere. A pair of Converse. Now for those of you who haven't noticed, my shoe game has gone up. The whole perimeter of the room is now shoes, you get me? And I have more than this, I've actually sold some madness. I sold like three pairs of Vans in like one day, which cleansed this area. I basically just had a load of Vans in it and like, Trainers are doing well for man. I kind of I started off only selling shoes, and um, then I veered off into clothes. And now, as supply is becoming not short, but as I'm becoming a bit more aware of having to travel further to get the same amount of stuff because I cleanse my whole local area every day, that I had to venture off into shoes a little bit. And to be honest, I'm doing really well with shoes. I make more money off them usually. Because the, the actual sale price is sometimes higher, most of the time is higher, but then my buy price is about the same, sometimes lower. So it's, it's trade offs, isn't it? It's, if I have like, if I just sell clothes, then I'm walking past shoes. If I just sell shoes, I'm walking past clothes. I gotta sell them both. So yeah, anyway, we sold these Converse Blue. I actually owned a pair of these once. Yeah, me. Um, not in the best condition, but they're actually doing really, I call it a, like a great condition. They're not like fresh but they're fresh you know what i mean <laughs> good enough to get i got like nearly 20 for them and vans vans and converse guys they're not as pricey as you think they're, they're a very common shoe you get me so for example for them i got 13.99 plus 2.97 shipping so let's say 17. now that's high i believe that's high for most converse or vans or something 17 is about as hot i've sold fresh ones at that price so Expect to get a little less for your Converse and your Vans, you get me. You don't buy them too expensive. These probably, oh, did I write down how much I paid for these? Yeah, two pounds. Car boot sale thing, innit? Go to the car boot. Don't, you want, you don't want to spend more than two pounds for a pair of shoes. Plain and simple. Well, no matter what it is. The only way you spend more than that is if it's something like these Vibrams, you get me? Some Gucci, some Nike. The only way you spend more than three pound is if you know you get me, you know, if you don't know, don't spend. Car boot sale prices are dirt cheap, you get me? So, you, you. I get shoes for 50p sometimes from car boot sales. There's one dude I used to work with when I bumped into him again at the car boot. And now he started a clearance company. He had like a pair of kids shoes, did them for 50p. Got them listed for like 15. So I'm doing like 50p to two pound into like 15 all the time with these shoes. Not crazy numbers, but you do that 20 times a day full-time income you know what I mean so basically that's that's my method and my, for my madness so basically guys that's all I sold on my clothing I'm gonna switch over to my hard goods I think I've sold one item on there um, and yeah to be fair these last few weeks my hard goods I've sold some good stuff but I actually filmed some like little YouTube shorts and that and I just never get around to uploading this stuff I, I sold this printer and I might post a video I might still post a video but basically I recorded it when I bought it and then I recorded it when it sold and I tried to make like a little little video you know like on TikTok where they're like I sold this I did something like that but I just never posted it so I might release that because I've had some crazy sales in between doing these videos whenever I do the videos it's just my normal stuff selling and these one-off wonders they just get missed <laughs> so basically that's that guys I'll, yeah let's switch, switch over to that other account real quick and then we'll get to the end of this video guys so I've Logged into my account and figured out what it was I sold. Basically I sold like a little portable radio. Now, this is probably one of my most favourite thing, favorite things to sell. I have a lot of stereos up here. And I also have a bunch of stereos stacked down here. They're all similar. But basically, I have this thing for like little vintage, not even vintage, just little stereos. The vintage ones are better. And I just like to use them for a bit. I plug them in, into my wall. This one here is plugged in, and this is actually the one that's sold. So I plug them in, test them, and the ones that I like the most for that time, I basically listen to the radio on in it. Um, it was this one, but the CD player don't work. So I basically got this one to sell and then plug that one in, and this one takes aux cord, so I've been playing music off my phone. So basically, I got this for £2 from a charity shop, of course, because that's where I get my stock from, charity shops, Alex. So basically I sold this for 
So easy monies. Now let me grab it. It's basically a Sony dream machine. Now I get a lot of these and I have sold a lot of these. They're all different models. It must just be this same stereo that's been selling for a long time in it. So basically, Sony dream machine. This is like a later model, you get me? And you can basically put, it's like an iPod dock so you can plug your iPod into it. Anyway, I've been using it on walks. On walks, so that was two night, not two pounds, I think. Two pounds, yeah. And um, yeah, fifteen ninety nine. So not big money, but them things sell all the time. Like price them at around that, and they'll be gone. And like some of the vintage ones can be going for more. These slightly bigger boombox type ones go for a bit more. And then when you start getting them with speakers, and they just get more. I've sold these things all the way up to about eighty pounds. Like for like they call them like them stack system, the little micro stack ones. You get a tape player and a CD, and then two speakers. Them type of ones go for high monies. And like they just you can kind of make up prices on sometimes because there's not a lot of them out there um, as long as you're within the reasonable range then you can generally sell them or get an offer through on them so i really do like selling electricals which is why i can't just scrap off my hard goods because it's too good you get me but um i mean i don't sell nowhere near as many hard goods but without my hard goods I'd, my business would be down about 25 percent so yeah so basically we sold that and that's the last thing we sold guys so look out for sony dream machines um I, I sell that many of them i actually know what the model number begins with it's icf sony dream machine icf numbers whatever anything like that will you'll get about 15 quid for um, and obviously there's other companies which do similar things and it so just look out for them and a company that you recognize the name of bar bush you get me if you see bush stuff be hesitant <laughs> because i just feel like bush ain't that all that you know but then again i have sold bush stuff so so then for those who don't know what bush is it's like an electrical company that makes things real cheap it's like it's like primark of electricals you get me so basically that's it for today guys like i've got to tackle some of these clothes down here i said i'm listing 10 a day um and i'm about at the minute i'm about I'm, I'm roughly a day behind, maybe a day and a half behind. I listed 13 yesterday. I listed, um, maybe, I don't know. I think I was slightly behind the day. Sorry. I think I was slightly behind the day before that. So basically, I'm like a day behind. I've got maybe 15 listings to catch up on, which is why yesterday I listed 12 or 13 because I'm just trying to chisel away at it. I was going for, I'm just going to slam out like 20 something listings in a day, but it's too much for man sometimes. Can't be asked. I've got this with you, it's a long thing. So, chance, turn that down a sec. Hold on. It's basically, I forgot to do my quick calculations on um, how much everything cost and how much I made and that. Um, and obviously, I said I was going to do that in this video. Um, so, basically, I've just done the quick maths. So, I'm just going to run through how much we made this weekend, basically. Um, so I've got my scrapbook in total sales guys across the hard goods and um, my clothing basically we sold 233 pounds 52 pence worth of stuff you get me and then I've calculated in the three main things in terms of cost but it's not everything because there's other costs to doing this as a hustle so the number could be lower than this so basically I took out the cost of items which was 33 pounds um, and I also took out the cost of shipping these items, which um, basically I took an average of £2.35, which is the, usually what I pay for something below 2 kilograms, but not quite a postable with the company I use. So £2.35 £2 times the amount of sales, which was 9 across both accounts. That was £21.15. And then 10% fees, which, looking at other people's videos, 10% fees, taking that into calculation, might be a little bit low, but... I felt 10% is, they usually take, or I don't know to be honest, but when I have looked, it's been less than 10%. And I've, the YouTubers I've watched have told me 10%, but then when I look at other people doing their calculations, they'd be calculating like 15% fees, 13% fees. I'll just go with 10% fees, maybe that's a little bit low, but you guys let me know what you think. Anyway, 10% of 233.52 is £23.35. So I basically added all those free costs up and now there is other costs to include guys like but these are things that it starts getting real confusing like the cost of um the cost of like fuel on that like actually how much have I spent over the weekend as well that could be taken into account but like we're not going to do that we're just going to go exactly off these sales 
So basically, after taking all those deductions off, I made £155.50, basically, from Friday evening to Sunday, without working, because I've, um, well, I say without working, but I have done some work previous to get the listings up, but basically just off the things that are already listed in my store, I made £155 on the weekend, which isn't crazy, but... It's good. 155 quid. Yo, you know, when I put it into perspective, right? It comes into perspective when I think, how much does my normal job pay me in a week? Now, I don't know how much my specific job pays me in a week because I really don't look. It's so little, I don't even care. Just pay me my money. Underpay me, overpay me, it doesn't matter because it's not enough either way. That's why I think I'm a wage. But anyway, I'm guessing I get £1,200 a month, which is three, six, nine, twelve. £300 a week. So I just made half of my week's wage. Please tell me how this is possible. I just made more than half my week's wage by doing virtually nothing on a weekend when I'm not even in work. You get me? So just going off that, yeah. If I, like, every two, three days I make that much money, I should be pushing, like, four, four fifty a week, fam, from doing this. It angers me when I put... I try not to put it in perspective. You know what? It angers me even more when you sell one item, one shitty item, like some piece of plastic, fam. And you get like... like For example, that stereo that I showed you before, fifteen ninety nine. Do you know how much you get paid in a job for an hour's work? Chance, hold on a minute and just let me finish this video, then you can talk to me. Nine pounds something you get in like minimum wage, yeah. So, just... I sold that for fifteen ninety nine. And I swear, I swear to you, every thrift store you go to, you will find these stereos. And and I sold it for fifteen ninety nine, and they pay me nine pound fifty or something an hour. I get paid more than that because my job's like pushing twelve pound an hour. But that's besides the point. The average job pays nine pound something an hour. Yeah, let's round it off at ten, ten pound an hour. Are you nuts, fam? Ten pound for an hour of my life. When knowing now what I know in terms of reselling, it is so hard. It really is hard because like we're so undervalued and people are being taken the piss off. And I, I just, if you are aware of that, then you shouldn't, you shouldn't, and you wouldn't be working that job without an escape plan. So if you don't have an escape plan, you are happy being paid like 10 pounds an hour. Bearing in mind, guys, bearing in mind nah, that, Fuck that, bet. fuck the plastic. You are willing to work an hour of your life for someone for a tenner. Bearing in mind, I sold these for over 30 used jeans, fam. So if you're happy with doing that, then that's on you, and it? But I ain't happy with doing that, and I, you shouldn't be happy with doing that. I'm coming to speak to you now, Chance, anyway. So don't be happy with the money you're being paid for your slavery. Find a way out, become financially independent. And this is coming from my brother, who's still struggling. We need a way out. This enough is enough, fam. It's, it's beyond a joke now. You get me? But anyway, that was my little rant and telling you how much I make. Oi! Why are you shouting when I'm filming? So basically, that's that, guys. Um, and there's not much else for me to talk about. I just need to get to work now. On top of that, guys, for those who didn't check out the last video, if you did check out the last video, you know, man was in some dire circumstance in terms of life you get me i've started reselling and it's put me in the situation where i need to make some changes or long story short we could end up homeless so today is like the day where things are kind of happening so i've got a lot of work to do today you get me i've, I've got shit to sort out so i can continue living in a house and not be homeless so basically guys we're ramping things up 10 listings a day all month that's 300 listings this month, and that should hopefully produce me with a minimum of 150 sales. Bearing in mind, I sold 76 items last month, so I'm looking to double this month. And I did double, more than double last month, so if I can double for the next couple months, well, I'll probably double this month because I've gone to 10 listings a day, and then next month I probably won't double. I'll probably go to like 11 or 12 listings a day. We'll just stay at 10 depending on Wagwan because. I'm also moving into another full-time job now, guys. 12-hour shifts, five days a week. Well, not five days a week. It's like a weird rotation. 
But I basically had to take those type of jobs with a weird rotating shift, so I have time to go and source because I'm not exactly the most efficient at it. And um, this is more important to me than any job. Fuck a job, you get me? And go stick themselves. If I last, this job lasts for a month, that's great. That is great. I just need some time to push past this barrier now. I got. I went from listing two items a day to listing ten items a day with no job. You get me? So if I can get a job now for like the next couple months and then go from listing 10 and get myself all the way to listing 20. And I know like it's it's a, it's going to be a stretch because I like I know whilst growing it's hard to actually put some savings aside with your business because everything's going into more stock and growth and shitload of sales the next day. All that costs money. But I feel like if I can push to about 20 sales a day, really struggle my way there and then when I'm there just to hold it and maintain it um, and just to start raking the money and you get me and then I'm out of work doing this full time pushing past 20 listings a day maybe even 30 listings a day 40, 50 I mean there's this guy who I watch online and you guys have definitely heard of him if you're involved in the reselling game Tekken Sports man I think man was listing 160 items a day on his lonesome how is that even possible and sourcing? The only way I could feel like you could do that is if you had a supplier who had good shit so you don't have to source and then you've got a list like a madness. Like I do 10 and it takes me a while. Like I mean you, if you had a routine like you do 10 listings an hour sit there and work for you do 10 listings an hour even if you did 10 listings an hour fam that 10 hours is 100 listings Man must have had to do 16 hours a day, and I know he did some long ass days, yeah. But 16 hours, 10 listings an hour, 160. I can't do that. <laughs> I need staff. I need, well, I've got staff, I've got two kids, and I've got my girlfriend. My girlfriend can list 30, and my two kids can list 30, and I can list 30, 3, 6, 9, 12, and then we're still fucking 40 or 50 listings short. <laughs> Well, we'll do that guys, basically that is it for today's video. I'm going to roll out now because I do this. Do my outro like 12 times at the end of every video. And then just start waffling on again. But I'm not doing it today. So I appreciate everyone who rolled through. If you guys are aligned with what I'm doing. If you're doing anything similar. Or if you just want to show support. Subscribe to the channel. Matter of fact, just start, subscribe to the channel anyway. Because I've had like 3 subscribers since starting this journey. Or 4, maybe 4 subscribers and it's not on. You get me? <laughs> my goal is to get to 100 and I should have been there already to be fair it's my own fault for not posting consistent but if we can get like 16 subscribers over these next few videos then that would be wicked I can get to 100 subscribers and then roll on a thousand and then to the future and yeah but other than that guys I appreciate everyone check out man's empire below like this video other than that we out why does this video never stop when I press stop I'm pressing stop right now I pressed it four times, five times.